All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great session with the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. Now, the tension in Nigeria under Tinubu is getting bigger and bigger as the days go by. After the atrocities of INEC during the 2023 presidential election was endorsed by the Tribunal and Supreme Court, many politicians now believe that they can call black white in broad daylight as far as they have the support of the judiciary. We have seen the tension going on in River State. Ex-governor of River State, James Onwike, after eight years of being in power, wants to be more powerful than the current governor. This has now thrown the state into a sharp division and utter confusion. And now, the people of Kano have sent a very strong warning to Tinubu over the Supreme Court case in Kano. The people are saying unequivocally but respectfully, that look, we know you are working with the judiciary. What a shame on the judiciary. They say, look, we know you and judiciary are working together. But if that happens in Kano State, the North will be gone. And not only the North, Nigeria will be gone. If you recall, the state governor, Abba Yusuf of the NMPP, sent a communique to the European Union, to USA, UK, Northern and Southern Elders Forum, Christian and Islamic Association of Nigeria saying those same words, saying that if you people don't call them to order now, when we start, don't come and try to stop us. Now, prominent sons of Kano State have now come together and held a press conference echoing these same words to Tinubu, indirectly telling him that don't connive with Ganduje to try to take Kano State away from the rightful winner of that election using the Supreme Court. That if they do so, Kano State, Northern Nigeria, and Nigeria itself will burn. Before I show you that video and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this update that got many Nigerians asking the question, who cost this country, Nigeria? Look at how the papers reported it. New Argentine president reduces government cars by 50%, sells private jets to save $3 billion per year. Recently sworn in president of Argentina, Javier Milei, has sold two national private jets and slashed the number of official vehicles and drivers by half as a show of his commitment to lowering government spending and hyperinflation during his administration. The move will save the country $3 billion annually. According to a statement released on Friday by his spokesman Manuel Adoni, Mr. Millet had resorted to the jet sale and reduction of government drivers to starve off Argentina's 3,678% annual inflation rate that the Minister of Economy, Luis Toto Caputo, predicted. Talking about 15,000% inflation is frightening for everyone, and that is what we are working on, Mr. Adoni told journalists at his daily presser last Friday. It is good to understand that today, inflation is running at around 3,678% per year. This 1% of daily inflation leaves us immersed in a hyperinflation that we are trying to avoid, and we are making an effort so that the catastrophe does not end up happening. The two airplanes sold off belong to YPF, a government-owned oil and gas company, but were expended to salvage Argentina's ballooning inflation since they were used almost exclusively by privileged statesmen, Marco Press, quoted Mr. Adoni as saying, One of the great objectives we have as a government is to put an end to privileges. The adjustment we intend to make on political expenses only in operating expenses is around $3 billion per year, stressed Mr. Adoni. The Argentine has continually shown himself to be prudent as he raffled off his last salary as a lawmaker on Friday, fulfilling his political vow where he had promised to donate his lawmaking monthly remuneration. This is the last draw of my salary as a deputy because I now got myself another job the 53-year-old Argentine president said in an Instagram live. Now, let's look at how Nigerians reacted. Here are some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here says, This man has made the pensioner in Asso Rock look like a bandit. Chai! 
and this tweet here says meanwhile in nigeria official bat is adding yachts to fleets of luxury cars and private jets black man is heartless especially nigerians we only care about ourselves mm. and this tweet here says this is the kind of things peter obi would have done but again nigeria is not ready for growth are not ready to rid themselves of criminal elements running the country nigerians actually voted obi but he was rigged out and this tweet here says the only president that understood the prevailing global economy my own president they buy yachts oh now let us see how the people of kano sent out that very strong message concerning the supreme court judgment to tinubu see the video we are gathered here today for justice, for the truth, and for our brothers and sisters here in Kano, or by extension in Nigeria. We are here to call the attention of Mr. President, GCFR, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, based on our mandates the victory of our executive governor, the pride of the masses, the pillar of good work, the backbone of the less privileged, the light of education, the true evidence of transparency, and the builder and the concerned Democrats, engineer Abba Kaber Yusuf, for the judgment by the tribunal and the appeal court that raised a lot of alarm in our country, which so many people and respective organizations spoke about, like the Northern Elders Forum, talk about the situation in Kano, our former president, Chief Obishogu uh, Obasanjo, and over 200 private legal practitioners volunteer to back Abba Kabir Yusuf. All these people that are coming on board, and even our religious leaders from both Christian side and the Muslim side, all of them came on board to say one thing or the other about the tribunal and the appeal court judgment. And we are here as a concerned citizen. We are here as a true Nigerians, patriotic Nigerians, to also lend our voice that everybody is pledging for peace. We are not asking Mr. President to support or take judgment in our own favor. But all we are asking is for the truth, the truth that everybody knows. And also, we are pleading to the judges because the judges are the last hope of the masses. If you continue to just dribble the judgment by just two, three people or four people, neglecting millions and millions of voters that voted that came out massively to vote then the peace and security of our nation is at risk so we are calling on well meaning nigerians we are calling on the president to intervene as he normally intervenes in so many issues that we're witnessing in the country because Kano is a very sensitive, and Kano is the heart of the North. If anything should happen to Kano, the North is gone. And if the North is gone, Nigeria is gone. You heard him. What a shame on the judiciary. It is now obvious to the point that Kanewood members are gathering to ask the president to pass good judgment. So the president is now a judge. That is what you have when impunity takes over the system. If we were united, we should have fought these, this kankawam from the time of the presidential election tribunal. 
but some felt it was victory for their religion others felt it was victory for their ethnic group now look at where we are and look at how nigerians reacted look at some of the tweet reactions this tweet says nigeria gone care you they whine criminals stealing from criminals why can't you take what you dish out oh and this tweet here says there is nothing like the independence of the judiciary nigeria's democracy won't survive apc's rascality that is it and this tweet by deplorable immigrant says nigerians love lawlessness how can you call on the executive to intervene in a matter before the judiciary it is because the judiciary no longer exists everybody sees it as a subset of the executive it's just an appurtenance of the executive building and it is clear for everyone to see unless nigerians stand up to take their country back and kick the APC out. Now like this, now we go continue to the CM. Anyway, make I leave I'm here. Make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogbonge political news. Where will I go like? Why? Because that because of now. Now I day here. So don't go away. Don't go away.